Um, okay, uh, this is a normal corn snake right here. Uh, this is, um, Morphs, uh, episode three, uh, on corn snakes again. Um, so yeah, this is the normal, which is really boring. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously it's normal, so it's not like it's amazing. You guys haven't seen it, yeah. You guys have obviously seen one of these, but, you know, they are very special to me. Because, you know, any snake is special, no matter what morph it is. Because I, I just love corn snakes' personalities, you know? Like, I don't care what morph they are. I mean, obviously, with selling them, you're going to sell them for a higher price, so they're better for working with. But, um, these guys, I just love them. Yeah, I'll breed these. with a, I'll breed... This one's a male right here. He is a baby going on the juvenile he's feeding on two pinkies a week two pinkies every seven days yeah that sounds right he's really hyper as you can see he goes really fast but yeah um you guys can see this a lot different than the motley that i showed you guys um so it's uh starting to mature a little bit where it has the orange towards the front and then it goes back to the mid way um this guy's about to shed probably in about a week so he's a little bit less sparkly than he would have been probably um they usually look very glossy it's awesome um but yeah yeah they're uh pretty cool you know um if you don't have a corn snake they're amazing they can be a little hyper when they're babies but uh they'll grow out of it um, you definitely need to live. Like I was saying on my last episode with a corn snake, you definitely need a lid. They will get out and they will be hard to find. So I really recommend you have a lid or a really tall cage. Um, yeah, I like to call him up. I joke this guy because he really, when you look at the bottom, you can really see like. That stuff that looks like teeth, I call him skeleton sometimes. Shows, looks like teeth. That's with all corn snakes, but. Ooh, my second corn snake, actually. Oh, yeah, he's amazing. Um, yeah, I really recommend corn snakes for a first snake. That or a ball python, but I think corn snakes will be better just because, well, no, they're probably about the same. Depends what you want. P ball pythons don't generally get as long, but they get thicker than corn snakes. They get longer, yet thinner, so really just depends what you want. Ball pythons require a hotter temperature and more humidity. But, um, yeah, I love them both. I mean, corn snakes, I don't know. Um, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so I, could, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, I'll be posting more soon. Uh, watch some other videos. I got, a, like, two other, um, two other morph episodes up right now. Um, obviously not if that's in the future. I'll probably have a lot more. But, um, yeah. Uh, normal corn snake. Um, I got uh, Diablo Blanco Max Snow done. Uh, that's a leopard gecko. And then I got uh, the Sunglow Motley. And now I got the normal, so those are checked off the list. Um, so yeah, um, you guys uh, subscribe. Get my later videos that I will be posting soon. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. See ya. Peace.